<sighs> hey, yo, Tony, it's me, Pete. How you doing? What's up? Yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting here watching this really stupid movie. Hey! Hey! What are you doing, buddy? Jeez. I'm trying to make a phone call around here. Hey, come on, what are you doing here? You're just trying to dry my head, jeez. Ow, ow. The management of this theatre requests that patrons please turn off all noise emitting devices, including cell phones, pagers, for anyone that still uses them, blow dryers, leaf blowers, lawn mowers, washing machines, drills, car alarms, pez dispensers, duck calls, iPods, iPads, iTunes, Looney Tunes. Thank you. This is the story of a man and a band. The man is not in the band, he's just a fan of the band. The name of the man that is a fan of the band is Dan. This is Dan's quest, documented by Dan himself, to reunite his favorite band to sing a song that will save the paper towels, and in doing so, perhaps mankind as well. Hi, my name is Dan. See? There's a situation going on in this country which isn't being addressed. Well, I'm here to address it. In restrooms all over America, paper towels are being replaced by these stupid air dryers. Probably in ladies' rooms, too. I, I don't know. I've never been in a ladies' room. So I wrote a song about it. And I made it my life's mission to get the right cause, one of the great political cause bands of all time, to sing my song in concert. The only question was, just because I'd been a roadie for the band, could I get the band back together again? The right cause was founded by the Wright brothers. No, 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 not, not, not those Wright brothers. It was founded by George and Harry Wright, but they are third cousins twice removed from Orville and Wilbur's grandmother's side or something like that. Like many rock and roll brothers, they never really got along. Things haven't changed much. So after the band broke up, I had to get another job. So I started working at Scrawny Paper Towels. And Scrawny, well, we're one of the sponsors of the South by Southwest Festival. I told the band that as the CEO, I could get them a spot on the festival. I'm really just a custodian. But I always wanted to be a custodian so I could be a soldier in the war on germs. So I did get them a slot at the festival, but I had to pay for it myself. So now I just have to convince the band to sing my song. Some of you might remember their seatbelt safety commercial. Be sure and wear your seatbelts on your Sunday drives. Be sure and wear your seatbelts and try to stay alive. Be sure and wear your seatbelt, let loved ones know you care. Be sure and wear your seatbelts and safely you'll get there. That made them. But success was hard to replicate. Don't let your baby play with matches. They could really get burned. <laughs> Sports drinks look like antifreeze, but they sure don't taste the same. Tarantulas don't make good pets. Not like a cat or a dog. Then they decided to get into politics. People started calling them the wrong cause. I think that was very unfair. Then they went commercial, and things didn't go well, and they went deeper in the hole. So then they broke up, and they had to get real jobs. Ned's a short order cook with a short temper. People complained about him not wearing a shirt in the kitchen.
At least he now wears pants. Ken works as a door-to-door -door mime. George and Harry went into the family business. So, what do you think? If Bob Dylan wrote this song, why isn't he doing the show? I told them Bob Dylan wrote the song. Uh, Bob's on tour right now. So you can guarantee there'll be no green M&M's backstage? You know I love green M&M's. You always do this. <laughs> oh, come on, mates. Bob's me uncle, and I've been listening to you two have a row for over 40 years now. And I've been listening to your British accent for 40 years. You're from Cleveland. Fellas, there could be money in this. Well, I could use a few quid. I'm in. Dollars, not quid. I'm in. I'm in. He's in. I told them the show was in Austin. I never knew there were so many Austins in the world. They knew the show wasn't in China. They just really wanted some Chinese food. Where the hell is your band? The Wright Brothers. Look, there was the mix up. Can we put them on tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow. You even grunt with a British accent. Oh, come on, Ken. Get over here and help us push, would you? What about Thursday? Your brother's still in the bathroom? What's the matter? He's got stage fright. Stage fright? Yeah, he can't pee when there's somebody else in the men's room. All right, uh, you guys go on stage. I'll be with you in a minute. Ken? What did I say about the mime costume? All right, here we go. So cops will smash my knees 
I also have some splinters, cause I'm always hugging trees. I tried to save the rainforests and of course the spotted owls, but I can't stand bathroom hand dryers, so please, don't take away my paper towel. I bring hand sanitizer almost everywhere I go, because my ATM was used by someone I don't know. I don't care if it ruins states, I've withstood all their scowls. I probably have the future with someone who won't use paper towels. So save the paper towels, cause I know the ways of men. And I'm conscious in the men's room of where their hands have been. Maybe I'm the only one, or other others just like me. Or am I just a germaphobe with a touch of OCD? I'm hoping that the wait staff and the chefs feel like I do. When I see men not wash their hands, it just makes me say, Ew. Anyone who has played sports knows men are so unclean. They think that merely shaking off passes for hygiene. A hand dryer won't help wipe off that food spill down the floor. And it won't keep you from E. coli on the bathroom handle door. When the neighborhood went nuclear, us lefties let out howls. But I'll gladly play a man a big concert. To save the paper towels So save the paper towels Cause I know the ways of men And I'm conscious in the men's room Of where their hands have been So save the paper towels If you want business from me Cause I will not eat in any place Where I'm Afraid to be Well, the show went very well. The boys were very well received. I'm thinking maybe the boys might get back together again. Boys, there's another issue out there that's not being addressed. And I think you guys have the guts to tackle it. I'm talking about hipster beards. Yeah, hipster beards. Yeah, I hate hipster beards. I like hipster beards. I was going to say fracking. Did you ever see the the Three Stooges scene where 